your senses. That is, if it happens before Kruger catches up to you. Faith. You've grown. Barely out of prison and already stirring things up. <laughs> your parents would be proud. They were talking about Elysium. Whatever it was you stole from there. Who was that? Rebecca Thane. The leader of Black November. She knew my parents. Yeah, we were all part of the same group before. Anyway, Rebecca was always a breed apart. She thinks she can change the world by blowing it up. Faith, she wanted the Omnistad drive. The blueprint on it. Why not give it to her? Because in her own way, she's as dangerous as Gabriel Kruger. Reflection is obviously more than the conglomerate will admit, and I have a feeling Rebecca should be kept away from it. Good, because I was going to offer it to Dogen. I tell you well, then I, not to take sides. I do take sides. Our side. See ya. Faith. What? Uh, never mind. I'll see you soon.
You should humble me with a visit. I'm sorry, I should have come sooner. Far be it from me to judge. It's not like you owe me anything. Look, about that, I've got something to square my debt with. Don't be crude. I haven't seen you in two years, and already you're talking about debt. Come. Machines make perfect food, but perfection is boring. It's the imperfections that truly make something unique. And so I like to occasionally introduce a human touch, a little imperfection. You still have it. I thought- I'd get rid of it. I almost did. You made me very angry, Faith. One could almost say, G, considering the extent to which you've recently left Mr. Kruger, he is out for runner blood. Whatever it is you stole from him must be very valuable. It's the blueprint for reflection. Ah, then you have it with you. Not right now, but... Then we will discuss your debt when you do. In the meantime, I believe a show of good faith is in order. Pardon the pun. Anansi have been remiss with their payments. A little human touch should set them straight. All right, I get it. What do you need? Go to the Anansi Emporium. I will update you along the way. Faith to go high, you will need proper tools. I threw something in the storage room. It should help you reach the top of Anansi. Handle with care. I have something extra in mind for a Nazi. I'll tell you more when you reach the tower. We have some 
catching up to do faith. Perhaps we can have dinner when we've settled our transaction. Yes, dinner it is. I'll prepare something special. And how is Noah doing these days? Still scraping by, I imagine? Like a righteous employee? This is a shared channel, Dogen. I know. So you're sending her on another one of your little errands. She will demonstrate to Anansi what it means to default on one set. A suitable task, don't you think? Yeah, very subtle. How about the item we have for you? It should be more than enough. I will investigate the potential value of your proposition. But first things first. Just remember, Faith, Dogen looks to himself first. Ah, that hurts, Noah. And it's also not true. Almost there, Dogen. Excellent. Go to the top. Release the tuned mass damper, and we're good. For now. The tuned what? A giant counterweight intended to make the building safe for earthquakes and hurricanes. But not for me. It will be our instrument of destruction. Does Anansi really deserve this? Are you having second thoughts, Faye? Anansi's not exactly a force for good. Every day, Locast are dying in the Greyland factories. Producing toothpicks and diapers for the midcast here in the city. Do this for them, and not for me. 